holidays, especially Halloween. I mean, there's something kind of depressing about watching everybody else have fun. It makes you feel kind of lonely. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to bob for apples. <laughs> this is supposed to be fun? Did you see that? strange people in the shop on Halloween. Come to think of it, we get a lot of strange people when it isn't Halloween. Do you have any scary corsages? I'm taking my bride to a Halloween party. That's a great Halloween costume. I'm not wearing a costume. Seymour, answer the phone. What do you think I hardly pay you for? Little Shop of Flowers, Seymour Crowborn speaking. Hello, Seymour. This is Audrey Mushnick. I'm practicing to be a telephone operator. Audrey, uh... <clears throat> Hi. Please deposit 30 cents. Don't you want to be a fireman anymore? Without telephones, nobody could ever call the fire department. Please deposit one dollar. But I was saving it for college. Sorry, no money, no call. She hung up on me. Please, Daddy, I'm on the phone. But Audrey. It's Halloween. If you wish to speak to the operator, please deposit 25 cents. Seymour, this is no time to stop and smell the roses. We got a pumpkin to car. <laughs> Call the pumpkin. Hello? Hello? Check the patient's condition. He's still a pumpkin, doctor. Right. Knife. I said, knife. I can't find the knife, doctor. <laughs> Seymour. Excuse me. You sound different, Seymour. Uh, must be the mask. I'm going to the used knife store to get a carving knife. How can you stand there and watch an innocent pumpkin carved up like a... Uh, a vegetable? Don't get personal. But, Junior, everybody carves jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins on Halloween. I suppose if people made pies out of pumpkins, you'd do that, too. Should I tell them? Pumpkins deserve to end their days in dignity, lying in a peaceful field. Rotting? You think you can't rot with dignity? You've got to help me stop this senseless vegicide. It isn't vegicide. It's Halloween. 
been trick-or-treating. Nobody would go with me. What do you say you and me go trick-or-treat? It's too late now. I'm too old. Oh, you're 200 million years younger than I am. Actually, it's just 499,999,987 years. <sighs> Excuse me. I've got a feeling in my roots that I'm about to change your mind with the seed of an idea. I just hope I can hit something as small as his brain. How could I have the wrong number? You called me. Let's go trick or treat. I just had a great idea. Mr. Gann. And it wasn't even long distance. Let's go trick or treating. You mean you and me together? Hmm. Maybe I'm not too old after all. I don't want to be critical, but I look silly. If the tree fits, wear it. And stop shaking your limbs. Why can't I just dress up like a ghost or something? Because I'm going as a ghost. Who invited you along? Audrey did. I called her. It cost you two bucks. Hello, bud? Isn't my costume positively touch tonic? I don't know why people think Halloween is scary. Ah! Hello? Mr. Mushmelon? That's Mushnick. And who are you? This is Seymour's friend, Bud. Hmm. I didn't know Seymour had any friends. I guess everybody needs friends, or they wouldn't have anybody to call on the telephone. Now for a little veggie match. Come on, pumpkins, follow me. This big green gobbler gonna set you free. Halloween is the pumpkin's day. What was that about a pumpkin? Get the bark out of your ears. I didn't say anything. This will be the first time I ever said trick or treat in earnest. Nobody cares about your personal problems. Just ring the doorbell. Except for the tree. Aren't you Seymour? The one that rhymes with Igor? <laughs> I didn't know you had any friends. Please deposit two dollars. How about a pot roast, bird head? Ooh, how bizarre. Trick or treat. Feed me. Hey, cute costume. Except for the tree. Let's see what kind of goodies I got for you. Let's see. There's daffodils. And roses. And yummy chrysanthemums. You're really sick. Ah! You know that? Come on. Let's make like a dead leaf and blow. There's some real weirdos out tonight. <laughs> I'd like to apologize, Junior. Why? What?
What have you done now? I thought you only wanted to go trick-or-treating so you could do something about people making jack-o'-lanterns. I was afraid he'd use his vegetable magnetism to steal all the pumpkins. Would I do an underhanded thing like that? I don't even have hands. He's got a point there. Don't be putting down roots when it's time to proceed. Let's have some fun, because it's Halloween. <laughs> Halloween positively cellular? I haven't had this much fun since the waterworks burnt down. I must be doing something wrong. You just need to watch my technique. Halloween! We can dig it, get way down with it on the give it up tip. Don't give us no lip. Can we ask for a drink? We're talking about me, not some marshmallow thing or a licorice drink. Mm. And I'm hungry. Forget chocolate on cherries, nuts or strawberries. No rock on a stick or we'll give you a trick you won't ever forget. It's time to get serious. We're near delirious. Needing a snack? Got a burger attack. Yeah, and I'm hungry. Meatballs, cold cuts, hot dogs, some beef. Give it up now or we'll give you some grief. Grind it, slice it, serve it, and slice it. If it ever said move, it's up for grabs. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Give us something good to eat. Treat or trick, treat or trick. Too much candy makes you sick. It's for you. Yo, Bud speaking. This is the end of the line for me. All played out, huh? I guess me and what's-his-name will just have to go on without you. Call me sometime, okay? Gee, and just when I was starting to have a good time. Who needs her? I'm twice the plant you'll ever be, and I don't cost two bucks a minute to talk to. Come on, let's go. We still got meat to greet. to me, Junior. You said you weren't trying to stop people from carving pumpkins. You must have stolen half the pumpkins on Skid Row. You gotta take them back. Too late, Seymour. We're here. The Skid Row Cemetery. The pumpkins can rest in peace here. This is the quietest spot in Skid Row. That's because it's full of dead people. <laughs> You mean there are people planted under these? This one's been here since 1927. Somebody ought to water them. They should have come up by now. I don't think you understand. This is how pumpkins are supposed to end their days. They look natural, don't they? I've got to admit, they look happy. Huh? Huh? Hey, where you going? You said I had half the pumpkins on Skid Row. I'm going back for the other half. I'm not going to help you this time. Who needs you? You're just dead wood anyway. Don't be tired. I want to hear you squeal. Let's go for a spin, because we're mellow on wheels. No, wait! Don't leave me here alone! Whoa. Junior! Stop! Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs>
What are you afraid of? Well, I, I actually, I don't know. What are you afraid of? Watch where I'm going. You could have hurt one of those pumpkins, letting them run into you like that. I'm glad you're back, Junior. I was really afraid after you left, until finally I admitted what it was I was afraid of. Then I wasn't as afraid of it as I was afraid I was. I guess once you face what you're afraid of, it's not so scary anymore. Maybe that's what Halloween is all about. Maybe it's time you stop that yammering and show some respect. Let's have a moment of silence for our fallen brothers lying here on this Halloween ground. I'm not alone, am I, Junior? Shh. I'm glad you saved the pumpkins. I'm glad I got to enjoy one Halloween before I got too old to go trick or... Seymour? Audrey! You can see my limbs! I've got something for you, Seymour. For me? Gosh, Audrey, I... No time to talk, Seymour. I have to go to the firehouse. They're washing out the insides of the hoses today. I thought you wanted to be a telephone operator. <laughs> it's too lonely. You never get to see anybody. At least firemen get invited over to people's houses when they're burning down. A telephone bill? For three hundred and forty dollars? Now that's scary. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Mushnick. But you can't fool me this time. <laughs> Trick or yum, a treat. <laughs> Halloween joke time. What does the baby monster call its parents? Give up? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> I get into the Halloween spirit. Watch the ghost with the most Beetlejuice every weekday afternoon here on Fox. An old Beetle Brains invited a freaky friend to Fox to celebrate Halloween. Don't miss an all-new Little Dracula this Thursday, Halloween Day, right here on Fox. Mm -hmm.